It's actually a pretty exciting day around here because I'm about to try a new to me thread brand. Welcome to the Sewing Report, I'm Jen. This channel is all about making sewing and crafts fun and approachable. Yes, this is the disaster that is my craft room. This is not a Pinterest ad, that's for sure. But I ordered a few samples of a new to me thread brand called Glide. It's manufactured by a company called Filtech. I've heard really wonderful things about this thread. It's polyester, apparently it's really strong. And I've just seen rave reviews from quilters. I've been working with the Juki DDL 8700. This is an industrial sewing machine. I've been trying out Aurafil thread in it, I think 50 weight. Overall, it's been going all right, but whenever I'm sewing something that's kind of bulky or a lot of layers, I tend to get thread breaks. I'm going to be testing out the Glide to see if it works any better. Something interesting about it, it's called trilobal thread. You may be wondering, what's that? That means it is a triangular thread. I've been watching a lot of forensic files lately. Every once in a while, this term pops up, trilobal fibers, when they find tiny, tiny fibers at crime scenes, and it has like a distinctive shape, then the law enforcement agencies are able to pinpoint it down to a certain suspect by matching the fibers. So I've been hearing that term a lot lately, not really in a good way, I guess, but this way is a good way. I ordered the glide thread itself in quite a few different colors, and over the next few weeks, months, I'm going to be trying it out for sewing, quilting, even embroidery machine stuff. I was also super curious about this product. It's called MagnaGlide Bobbins, and there is a magnetic core in the center, which keeps it in the bobbin case. I've heard really good things about it, so I ordered a jar, and we're gonna try that out as well. I've got the thread onto the thread stand, and I'm going to wind a bobbin in the gold color as well, and I'm going to try out the glide thread, both with the MagnaGlide bobbin and also with just a regularly wound bobbin, see if it makes a difference. And if you haven't seen it yet, definitely check out the video where I show you how to wind the bobbin and thread the needle. We are ready to go. I have not adjusted my tension at all, so we're gonna have to do some trial and error. This is four layers of quilting cotton, and we're just going to see how it does with these four layers and how much I need to adjust the tension. And I've got my walking foot on here. I have done a couple videos about my experimentation with it, but if you wanna see those, check them out. I've been really trying to fine tune this. It's been working for me, but it also hasn't been working for other people. Be cautious. The top thread looks pretty good. Let's see the underside though. Honestly, that looks pretty good too. I don't even know if I'm gonna need to adjust this. Okay, let's see what happens if I loosen it a little bit. All right, I'm gonna do like half a turn. Here's my sample so far with the glide thread. This is four layers of quilting cotton, the top and then the bottom. The bottom actually looks a little bit better. You can still see some of the thread peeking out on the top layer, but I've tried tweaking the tension and it seems about the same. So we're gonna kick it up a notch. I'm going to be folding this in half and we are going to be doing eight layers of quilting cotton. Can it handle it? We're about to try six layers of quilting cotton. I'm using a 3.0 stitch length. And after this, we're gonna try some canvas and then we'll try some quilting. Maybe we could get crazy and I'll fold this in half for 12 layers. Should we do that? This is the sample with six layers of quilting cotton. What do you guys think? This is 12 layers of quilting cotton. Can the glide thread handle it? So far, so good. No joke, this is 12 layers of quilting cotton. Pretty crazy stuff here. Let's try to attempt some simple quilting. I've got a quilt sandwich, but this is a foam stabilizer in the middle. I just had a scrap piece. I switched the stitch length to three and a half. For some reason, the fabric keeps getting dirty. If you guys know what's going on, let me know, cause I need some help here. We are switching things up. I've taken the bobbin case out of the machine. I'm going to take out this bobbin and we're gonna try out the MagnaGlide bobbins. MagnaGlide! All right, let's bust one of these out. 
I've never tried one of these before, but there's a first time for everything, right? Yeah, it's kind of weird that there's no metal bobbin. Here's my dilemma. You're supposed to insert the bobbin into the bobbin case so that the thread looks like the letter P, but the magnetic side is on the outside. So yeah, I don't know what's the deal, but it does seem like it would make more sense to put it in with the black side in, which is the magnet, so it actually holds. I mean, I don't know, should I try it the other way? All right, maybe I'll do it. Okay, this is with the Magna Glide bobbin, and you'll be able to easily tell because this bobbin thread is white and the bobbin thread on my other samples is gold. I don't know, is this even gonna work since this is in like technically backwards? I'm not really sure. This is with about five layers of quilting cotton. One thing I've definitely noticed is that the tension seems better. You don't see tiny knots coming out of the top and you don't see anything coming out of the bottoms. I think I feel ready to try the quilting with the Magna Glide bobbin, but I still have not solved the issue of why everything keeps getting dirty using the walking foot on the Juki DDL 8700. Maybe that's why Juki doesn't make a walking foot technically for this machine, because this is a jerry rig hack. I don't know, that's a little frustrating though. I don't really know if this is going to work, but I just cleaned out the whole area. It was pretty dirty. The needle bar itself was pretty dirty, and then I used a toothpick with an alcohol wipe on it to try to clean out the screw hole that the needle clamp screw goes in. So we'll see if this maybe fixes the problem of there being little tiny specks of black marks all over the fabric. All right, here is another scrap. This is four layers of canvas. Let's just see how it goes. I will say so far, I do like the Magna Glide bobbins. I did notice a little bit of a difference with how the top thread looked when I used that on the quilt test sample versus just the bobbin wound thread. Okay, so my needle bar is now clean and I cleaned the whole walking foot. So I've really tried to do my due diligence in making sure everything was spick and span over here. There's still some black specks, but it's definitely an improvement. I don't know if it's the oil, I'm not really sure. I haven't checked the oil in a while. I feel like this is a pretty natural stopping point for today. Definitely some lessons learned, that's for sure. This is the quilting sample. On the left is the side that I wound the bobbin myself. On the right is the Magna Glide side. This is the top thread. Flipping it over, this is the bottom. Again, on the left, that is the side that I wound myself on the bobbin winder. On the right is the side, obviously, that I use the Magna Glide because it is white. I do think the Magna Glide side looks a little bit better. Keep in mind that I actually had to insert the bobbin the wrong way in order for the magnetic core to work. And this is four layers of canvas. This is the sample I just sewed and using the Magna Glide bobbin. But after I did a thorough cleaning of my work area, the walking foot itself, the needle bar, and even cleaning out that tiny screw hole for the needle clamp screw, this is the top thread. And this is the bottom thread, the Magna Glide. And I'd like to know, have you ever tried Glide Thread? Do you like it, not like it? What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments and leave me some tips if you have any for working with it. I'm still very new to it. I'm also really happy to announce that I've started stocking Glide Thread in the sewing report at Sea Shop. I put together a curated bundle of six fairly basic colors that I liked. So that's what I'll be bringing to you. There are six spools. They're about a thousand yards each. They are the 40 weight Glide Thread. So check that out if you're interested. Let me know what are your most used or favorite thread colors too. Thank you for joining me as I try out Glide Thread. I'm Jen with The Sewing Report. I'll see you guys again in the next video. And remember, whatever you're doing, make it fun.